Well, good morning guys and welcome back to another one. Yes, we're in the shop today. Have a look up there. It's coming. It's coming. But we got some cleaning to do. I got stuff all over the place here still. Moving some stuff out to the small shed. But we got to get this here organized. I got a little more floor space. Got my hunting gear over here. My fishing gear in the corner. I got to build a couple of fishing rod holders so I can get them up off the floor so my rods don't get broke. But Alright, so the plan today is going to be just clean out the shop. Get some floor space. Get stuff hung up off the floor. Um, anything that's garbage is either going to get burned or thrown out. And uh, this might be a new uh, new vlog section, new vlog studio. Check out that oil and gas up there. Uh, a lot of you may not know. I may have mentioned a video in the past, but my uh, my pop got sick over Christmas, and uh, he had a whole lot of. I did mention it before. He had a whole lot of antique fishing gear and things of that nature, fishing rods, reels, and lures. Um, unfortunately, my pop passed a couple of weeks ago which is kind of why the videos are maybe old they may look a little old or not up to date uh he passed and uh, now i'm have all those things and i'm trying to get them situated up in the shop here so rather than just keep them in a box i want to put them on display so that i can see them every time i come in here and when i shoot videos in here you guys can see them too but time to get cleaning all right so watching me clean things up is not the most exciting thing in the world but i'm going to show you a couple of things that i got from my pot um, you did see the big box of uh, vintage fishing reels that I got, but I didn't, like I said before, I've collected oil and gas over the years. Have a look. So we got the uh, oil can spouts, oil glass oil jars, torch, all kinds of little knickknacks that I picked up over the years. Now I did have a whole lot more than that, but as I end up downsizing, I end up selling a lot of it, but. Those fit nicely up there, and like I said, I got a couple other things I'm gonna put on the wall over here. These are all my dad's. It's coming along. Uh, that's his tackle box. There was some Mitchell. I'll show you here. Some old Mitchell reels. He's got three of those. Uh, Try to get cleaned up. Spring is coming. My backyard is like a mud hole. Just trying to get situated so when fishing season comes I can work on my tackle over there and our projects over there that way I'm not fighting with things you all know what I'm talking about guys your place is a mess over the winter time a lot of times what I'll do is I'll come in here I'll use a tool I'll just throw it on the bench and leave a week later I'm looking for that tool y'all know what I'm talking about don't you so of course Jen's out there with a snow shovel you see me look over okay. See? She's out there shoveling snow. She's going to look up at me here to see what I'm doing. Watch. See? I told you. I told you. She wants to make sure I'm still doing something and wondering why I'm not out there doing the snow. I'll be out there doing the snow as soon as I'm done this. Alright guys, it's been about a week. I figured I better get around to getting the shop tour video done. Uh... Still not done, but it's coming. I mean, come on, you gotta bear with me. I got other videos I gotta make. I got other commitments I gotta do. Commitments, who's got commitments? I got other things I gotta do. We're gonna run with that one. But, let me show you what I got. So if I recall where I left off last time, I think I showed you a little bit of oil and gas. Uh, I found a few more of the oil can spouts. And down here, obviously, this is a workbench. I wanna try to keep this here clean. Uh, this is where I'm going to do all my, my tackle prep and work on a few guns. Uh, over there is a rod rack. I made that in another video. Obviously it's not painted yet, but one of my rods fell over. Still got my drill press in the corner. i got to get some more stuff to put up on the wall up there. Just kind of stay with the oil and gas theme a little bit and a little bit of the outdoors. So I got a coffee bean sack. My Nutrim dog food sign. Why? Because that's what I feed my dogs. We got a couple more things to put up in here. Now it should be just about complete. So again, the idea was to get most of the stuff off the floor so I could move around and do some things. <laughs> you notice a couple times it was a disaster in here. It looked like a hurricane went through. So over here where I put these shelves up, uh, that's got my tackle on it right now. A few tools down, the, down below. The toolbox was there. Toolbox is now over here. Whether it's going to stay there or not, I don't know. Uh, whether this bench in the corner is going to stay here with my drill press on it, I don't know. But uh, that's kind of where it's at. It's coming along. 
All right, so probably a short video. I haven't edited this yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be pretty short. But that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, sorry to show you what's going on in the shop. And there's times when you could not even think in here. You had to go outside and change your mind. Now, a lot more workable. Maybe, just maybe, we'll bring you some fresh projects. Anyway, do not forget to hit the subscribe button while you're here. We have been growing a lot over the last little while. It's all thanks to you guys watching my videos and hitting that red button. So as always, don't forget to go outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. Anyway, don't forget to get outside and enjoy the... As always, so as always, don't forget to get outside and enjoy the outdoors.